People come here, uh, take pictures, enjoy. Look at this park, man. This is our freedom corner, man. When we got independence, our founding fathers came at this exact place, man. Man, as it, it's so perfect to be natural. <laughs> then all the way, you can see something like, uh, what is it, what is it? are they called terraces or something like that? My name is Mtala The Voice from Nairobi, Kenya, right now. So, it is very interesting that I am in this city and I have been in this city for a very long time. But there's so many places that I've never explored. And uh, not like I've never been there, but I've never really shared with you. So I want to share with you something here. There's this park that was uh, refurbished. It's called Uhuru Park. Uhuru means freedom in Swahili. So just next to Haile Selassie Terminus for the expressway, there's a CBD when you go like this. And I can see horses here. So we want to go inside there. I don't know if they're going to allow us, but uh, I saw in the news that uh, it has been opened and I can see people actually inside. So. I want to go and see what is going on there. I'm actually very, 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 very anxious. Not really anxious, but eager to know what's going on. So let me share with you. Uh, this Uhuru Park was there. And um, this is where uh, when our, our founding fathers actually, when they got independence, they went there. It's called Sikuya Uhuru. That's why it is Uhuru Park, meaning Freedom uh, Park. So, this uh, park is also controversial. We used to have uh, our late professor, uh, uh, Wangari Madai, who was also a Nobel Peace Prize winner. He is the one who championed and said the government should not take over this park and build buildings. Let it be a public park where people can come, enjoy and just relax. So it's very controversial actually. So it is in a place called uh, Upper Hill. When you cross like this, it's Upper Hill in Nairobi. The other part is Nairobi CBD. As you can see, the Parliament and KICC Expressway is right here. So, there's so many activities that um, are found inside here, like, uh, you know, kids playing ground where you can just relax, a nature walk, uh, something like uh, a small dam or lake, kind of. Yeah. Guys, do you see that building? It is called Britain. That is the tallest building in Eastern Central Africa. All right, now you know. So let's go and see what is uh, inside the KICC. Hope you guys are enjoying, man. And don't forget to check my videos in other countries like Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania. Man, I've done beautiful stories in Uganda and all those countries, man. I went to the Kabaka, um, uh, the Buganda Kingdom. I went to the source of River Nile. I went to the Idi Amin torture chambers. I went to this tribe that eats humans. Can you imagine that? Yes, it is on my YouTube. Just scroll down, you're going to see that. My name is Untar the Voice. Let's go. We are almost there. I know sometimes uh, they might not want you to film, but uh, I'm just going to show a snippet of it as we enter. All right. Here it is the entrance, man. It's very beautiful. Actually, it has improved. As you can see there, it's Okuru Park. Let me zoom in. See. Okuru Freedom Park. Let's go inside. I am already inside, man. So beautiful. Let me show you. Look at this, man. This is so creative, man. Can you imagine? <laughs> hey, man, I can see a lot of, uh, I think, like guards or something like that. I mean, I don't know if they're going to stop me from filming. You know, Kenya, sometimes you can be. But so... oh, this is so beautiful, man. Last time it wasn't like this. It was more of a. Uh, yeah, it's so beautiful, man. Wow. I hope this place uh, maybe in the back then when the you know uh, before these uh, renovations were done here we used to have boats here so you can have uh, some boat riding. I hope they're going to also ensure that uh, those activities come back man but it's so beautiful man. So ladies and gentlemen let me share with you. Man how does it look a little bit fancy. A little fancy. As compared to the other time, I wish I could have ever filmed the other time, man, so that you get to see the difference, man. Oh, wow, 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 man, so beautiful, man. Let me show you. I can see it is something like a lily lake. Uh, when you go to, there is a, there is a, we have another, like a forest in Kenya called Karura Forest. So when you go, you'll experience something like this. Something like a lily, like it's a lilies, man. water lilies. That's why it's a lily. Like. Wow, look at this. But I think 
this one let me show you how it looks i don't know where this water comes from i don't know where it comes from i don't know if you have something like a spring or something but uh, this one it is man-made it is not natural it is uh, i think for beautification purposes look man as it, it's so perfect to be natural then all the way you can see something like uh, what is it was are they called terraces or something like that just to prevent you know uh, you know how do we call it just to prevent the erosion to make water not to have a lot of force and it goes all the way like this man I want to go to other part man I remember when I was so young like around uh, around 20 years ago I was brought at this place by my uncle for the first time I think in the early 2000s around there 20 years ago can you imagine that man and this is one of the also places that uh, you can have one of the best views of Nairobi CBD let me share with you so uh, that building there is called Bunge Towers Bunge is a Swahili word meaning palm that one is called CBK uh, can you see CBK Pension Towers the next one like a clock around it that is a parliament building that is actually like and you need to show man this is a kenyan parliament is also one of the iconic places to recognize uh, if you want to know how oh, this is kenya that's a place that one is kcc i've done a vlog about it if you can scroll just a few days ago it's actually uh it's called kenyatta international convention center it was first opened in 1970s around there and um what again what else can i be able to see from a distance here so that uh, i can be able to share with you i think that is enough i've done i've done a vlog about that so that design is also it's, has, it's got a very interesting story man that uh, you need to check my vlog and uh, enjoy actually so yeah i mean actually this is this uh lake on, I can see it's becoming bigger and bigger something like that or it's just my eyes fooling me because it covers all this area this side this side and uh man i think this one you can you can uh, feel it better when you view it from the aerial area when you view it from from the sky you're going to enjoy the view or a drone a drone shot man but it's so beautiful man let me tell you something um this Uhuru Park, the one that you're seeing here right now, all this beautiful space. Let me let me go 360 degrees so that you can see all this beautiful space. People never used to like this place. It was like a poor man's place, man. But nowadays, man, it has become even fancier, man. Fancy to the fact that everybody, every caliber of persons can come here and enjoy. If I'm lying, Kenyans in the comment section, tell me. The whole park that you you know if you have not visit, uh, visited uh visited uhuru park lately you can tell me in the comment section the one you used to know and this one they're two different things totally different man totally different that one for sure any kenyan can tell you that man like uh, most people mm -mm -mm, never wanted to come at this place but right now man even i can see children's playing ground i think is on the other side like a, a merry-go-round thing and a bouncing castle so i can be able to see from a distance wow so this heat man hey, man actually i'm coming you know i used to let me share with you how i know this place i remember when uh, i lost my id uh there is a huduma center somewhere on the way there when you pass that cathedral there so i used to pass here man it was very bad congested dirty and all that man but nowadays man so clean man you can't imagine man. let me continue showing you man i want you to see my face only i'm going to take you there so no trespassing on the grass so you don't step on the grass hey because uh these are the washrooms can see um, for the ladies gentlemen people with disabilities both female and men they've got their own spaces so actually it's very hard to grow grass man when they say don't step on the grass I really understand because it is very very hard to grow grass in Nairobi truly like if you've been to you know Nairobi is a is a Island island and Masai island is kind of like a, a semi-arid place and when you understand what is semi-arid, it's kind of like a, a desert, and you understand the hassle 
of growing grass in a desert. Nairobi is semi-arid. It's not arid, it's semi-arid. So, this is art here, man. Look at this, man. Wow. So beautiful, man. Wow, 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 wow. So, we are going there, man. But I saw this art, I just loved it. So, I think this is supposed to be one of the entrances when the, you know, uh, renovation is totally complete. I'll show you later. Wow. Yes. So, we are going right there. Here we are, here we are, man. Look at this. I've never really understood uh, uh, the essence of this or what it symbolizes. Let me look if there is somewhere that uh, I've written something so that I get to understand what it means. Uh, it is called love. Okay, they have written here, love. Can you be able to read that? And uh, there are fountains here. It is kind of something like uh, a crown. Is it a crown? We have something like this in Arusha, Tanzania. It is called Mwenge wa Uhuru. Or Mwenge wa Arusha. What is Mwenge in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in English? Mwenge. So, I want to share with you something. Hey man, this place is so beautiful. Man. Okay, let me zoom in so that I can be able to show you some of the fascinating buildings in Kenya. So, you see that building there, it's called 88, still under construction. After completion, it will be the tallest uh, residential building uh, in Kenya. I'm not sure if it is also in East Africa. The next one there, like you see, it almost takes like a rhombus. That's called Prism Towers, a very build, a beautiful building. Uh, the next one, I've forgotten the name. Then next there, that is uh, our Kenyan Ministry of Health. I've ever been there, man, when I was doing a, a TV show back then, the year, not back then. When you say back then, it looks like far, far away. It's the year 2022. I was doing a TV show in one of our local TV stations called KTN every Sunday. It was a very beautiful show. You can go and uh, just check it. The show's called My Shiny Health. I was hosting together with uh, my brother, Fred Indimuli, a very amazing person, man. Wow, so that's all about this place. I've not seen anywhere that I've written anything so that we can know what is the essence of this. I want to be very sure because I want to take you to another place so that uh, we get to explore uh, the other places of this park. Wow, but ladies and gentlemen, any Kenyan who knows Uhuru Park from back then, he or she can attest that, uh, man, this is so fantastic and they have done a very beautiful job. And uh, another fascinating thing that I love they've maintained these natural uh, trees like uh, the one that you know they were found here oh okay natural uh, this you know you know there are this but every tree is natural it's not artificial <laughs> is it okay that is my thinking how is it artificial tree or maybe I'm using a wrong term you can help me in the comment section but this are you know trees that you know are found in kenya and they can grow here very beautifully that's why they're here I can see the palm trees but most of the time the palm trees are found in the coastal region of kenya like mombasa malindi lamu uh, kilifi watamu and kwali but uh, in nairobi most of the time we have the acacias because of the environment of this place so let's keep moving and see what we have here in the tohul park so yeah Look at this, how beautiful it is. Actually, I was speaking, I was on call with uh, Nasto. Uh, I like this guy, I normally follow his vlogs, man. Zav, you know, the, the guys from Nyabuhanse village, you guys know. Uh, they are friends and also neighbors to Aya Marwa. I've done a vlog with Aya Marwa, you guys, you can go and watch, man. Very fantastic guy, man. I like that guy. And I'm hoping very soon we're gonna do a collab again. We have done a video before, but it was a very brief video when he was going to New York. So um, it was just, uh, you know, a by the way. You know what happened? How I met Ayamaro? That time I used to work uh, in Westlands. I used to work in, that was last year. I used to work in the Westlands. So when in office, then I see, you know, I follow a lot about, you know, Ayamaro. I saw um, him, he had posted something about Westland. He was in Westland, posted a picture about Westland. And I, where, the office that I was actually, I could actually see where he was. So I was very curious. So I went and 
and just you know I could see a blue jacket that's why I could be able to I was able to recognize that Marwa and that's how you know uh, I went there saw him said hello even though it was very fast but he was a very kind person we did a brief Docu uh, not documentary, a, a brief vlog. You know, I do documentaries. I'm a voiceover artist too. I do documentaries a lot. That's why every time when I talk, it's all about documentary. So I did a brief one. Uh, then he said when he will come back to Kenya, we're supposed to do a collab, but uh, we're yet to do. But inshallah, uh, I'm looking forward to that collab. I know he's a very busy guy, but. Uh, I'm very sure we are going to do a collab of one of these fine days. So today I'm going to meet uh, Nasto, a uh, very amazing YouTuber man. You guys, uh, you can see on his YouTube, he's right now in Nairobi, doing a very beautiful job there. He's uh, constructing or trying to renovate uh, a van that I think he mentioned about uh, to do a few things home, maybe ferrying visitors from one place or another. And uh, yeah, or you can hire man. Go watch his YouTube, he's a very amazing person, man. So let's keep, you know, moving here in our uh, hook Wow, look at this, man. We are coming from that other side. That is Waiyaki Way. Waiyaki Way is one of our main roads. You can go straight to Tanzania like this, to Uganda and Rwanda and Congo like this. Yes, now you know. So uh, there is something very fascinating. I want to, to see how it looks like. Then we go to this other side. But look at this art, man. It is a buffalo, an African buffalo, man. <laughs> have you guys, have you ever seen a buffalo? Man, that thing is no joke, man. It's no joke. It's no joke. So this is what I, ah, let me show you something. This building here uh, is where if you want uh, to go uh, pick your passport, you come to this building here. So look at this, man. I find this place, man, so beautiful. Whoever came with this idea, man, this is so creative. And uh, they've planted like uh, some flowers and shrubs here. Look at this. All the way. You can do a very beautiful, uh, a very beautiful music video here, man. I think it can come out so nicely. But what do you think, guys? What do you think? <laughs> it is so beautiful, man. Wow. Wow, 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 look, man. look how this is, man. And this other side, fantastic, man. And this is Waiyaki Way. This is the expressway all the way to the airport from Westlands. Man, I can see families taking videos. It is a holiday, it is Easter. That's why I can see all this, man. Wow, so fantastic. Wow. Look at that, man. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, man. This is so beautiful, man. This is so beautiful. So where I'm taking you next is one place that uh, it has a very significant uh, story or maybe a place very significant for uh, Kenyan history. This is where when our founding fathers, after independence, this is where they came and stood. It's called Freedom Corner. So let me take you to the Freedom Corner here in Nairobi, Kenya, Africa. Very beautiful place, man. I tell you, man, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. So this road, it takes you straight to our Kenyan State House. Or if in America they say the um, uh, presidential White House, other places they call, you know, presidential palace. In Kenya it says State House. So let me take you to, let me take you to uh, our Freedom Corner so that I can be able to show you. Eh? So it say Ukumbusho Kwa Wahasiriwa. Whoever wrote that Swahili, that's wrong, is called Wahathiriwa. Wamateso ya ukatiri wakati wa enzi ya ukuloni. Kwanzia mwaka alfu moja, mia tisa msinambili, hadi mia moja, alfu moja, mia tisa siti. There are people taking, uh, I think, a photo. I need to give them some privacy. This is pine trees, man. Pine trees. So... Okay, let me translate for those who, who, who don't understand Swahili. Basically means um, uh, the, you know, to remember uh, those who you know, went through a uh, hard time or went through brutality during uh, the colonial period. So, this is the Freedom Corner here, man. Look at this, man. So, this is a memorial 
to remember those who went through, you know, uh, during the struggle for independence, those who went uh, through brutality from the colonialist men. So it gives you, man, some of the key key deaths where Kenya uh, marks, you know, like the state of emergency in 1952. This one is the Mau Mau. Uh, in 19 the Mau Mau movement in 1950s then we have got this one the Re reconciliation man amazing 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 Haki Iwengao Namlinzi basically like uh, justice be our shield and uh, defender that's what it means the Kenya land and freedom army Mau Mau these are the people who help us like um, our military those people who fought for our independence, they used to dress like this. Wow. So one of the common ones is known as Dead and Kimap. I think, I'm not sure if it's this one. Wow. But this is our freedom corner, man. When we got independence, our founding fathers came at this exact place, man. Can you imagine, man? Wow. Amazing. So we are leaving. Uh, I want to take you, I can see something like a plane. I want to take you there. So, let's go. Can you be able to see that? We, were going, we are going right there. Let's go. Can you see it first? Yeah, I want to know what is there. This place, man, right now, even the security has been improved, man. You can come and just chill without worry. You know, back then when we were young, man, you could not come here, man, like just sleep like that. Eww. But right now, it is a very safe place, man. I think one of the safest places in Nairobi. <laughs> it is inside here. I can see that. That is Serena Hotel, man. There are so many Serena Hotels around the world, eh? Yeah, man. I've seen them in so many countries. Let's go. Look at that, man. I like that idea. Whoever came with that idea, that's so beautiful. So, we are going to that plane. Security there. There's horses. People riding horses there. And, uh, let me see. Is there a river here? I'm not very sure. I think there is something like a, a small river, something like that. Or a, no, I don't think so. I think it's just, um, uh, what is it called? Drainage system. So you can see the pipes here going all the way. I think it's the one that feeds this lake. Yeah, I think so. So, it can be deliberately that is water has been redirected there so it looks like a small stream that has been made with good drainage system so we are going there so how do you find it man it's so beautiful man or how do you see it man how do you find it tell me look at this man this concept is good so uh this is becoming one of the common concepts in nairobi where people you know the those uh, planes that are no longer flying so you take it and construct something like a restaurant or a bar or something so this place man has been kind of like a, a tourist destination right like it, okay it attracts people maybe you've never been on a plane or maybe you just feel it is a, a very nice concept so people come here uh take pictures enjoy look at this park man Look, man. Wow, 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 man. This is so beautiful, man. Whoever came with this design made this place to be really, really, really nice, man. Look, man. The plane's right there. We have done something like this in Kajiado called uh, Club 034 in, um, in a Kajiado County place called Kitengela. So it is a restaurant and a, a, and a club inside. So I think during uh, the days, a restaurant at night is a club. So that was it. Still construction there. That's why I can see like uh, there is a caterpillar uh, doing some work there. Wow, so this is the whole popular nowadays. How do you find it, man? It's so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. That's a Nairobi CBD. I want us to go this side we see what else can we have <laughs> wow 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 this is so beautiful man this is so beautiful man any day anytime i can come here and just feel comfortable and enjoy the moments here so and it's free the entrance is free at this place free zero shillings you enter for free so you can imagine man. <laughs> Wow, look at this. 
Wow, wow, wow. This is so nice, man. Well, how do you find this, man? Tell me in the comment section. There are the places there you can go. There is a couple of people doing the construction, renovation. I can see others there. So this is the other side of the plane. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You can see the, the kids saying, Dege, Dege. Dege is a Swahili word meaning a plane. So, Dege means either a bird or a plane. So this is it, man. So we are going this side. Wow, that's so amazing. That's so amazing, man. I'm looking at a place where I can live now. I think this side, the gate is this side. And that has been fantastic, man. So the gate is right there. There is another gate this other side. So you can enter from here or this other side. So I don't know. Let's go this side. We enter through this side. Let's go through this side. Yes, I've now left. I'm outside. Wow, that is beautiful, man. I'm really fascinated, man. I'm really fascinated. One of my vlogs, as you can remember, you guys, uh, when um, the First Lady of America, Jill Biden, was visiting Kenya, I came to Uhuru Park, but I did not enter because there uh, was some renovation going on. But I'm really, really satisfied with what is going on right now. The place is so beautiful, and I can say, come visit, man. It is free, free of charge. Come enjoy, man. <laughs> amazing so guys thank you so much for joining me watch my videos in other countries uganda tanzania rwanda here in kenya beautiful stories man i've done stories in rwanda how you know rwanda is the cleanest uh, country in africa uganda i went to the Idi Amin torture chambers i went to you know source of river nile i gave a tour of kampala i went to the kabaka kingdom and also i did a story about a tribe that eats human flesh you can imagine that <laughs> Amazing. My name is Untar The Voice. Have a good time.